Iron Flame, The Empyrean II by Rebecca Yaros. The Brink of War. The morning sun cast a golden hue over the bustling streets of Aresia, a city alive with the rhythm of commerce and the undercurrent of impending conflict. The whispers of war were not just rumors, but a palpable tension that gripped the city, where the rebel headquarters stood as a bastion of hope amidst the chaos. Within its stone walls, Zaid Zaydan, a strategist for the rebellion, paced the room, his thoughts a whirlwind of potential alliances and plans to counter the encroaching Venan threat, a race of shadow beings whose very presence poisoned the land. Viscount Tecarus will not budge, he muttered, frustration evident in his tone. His mind replayed the Viscount's cold refusal, a pride as unyielding as the collection of ancient artifacts he hoarded. Among those relics lay the key to powering the wards, mystical barriers made of an ethereal alloy that shielded Aredia from the Venon's corrupting influence. Without the alloy, the wards would fail, leaving the city vulnerable to the darkness that sought to engulf it. Violet, her eyes a mirror of the determination that her name evoked, placed a comforting hand on Zayden's shoulder. We'll find another way. The wards must be powered, and we will not let pride stand in the way of our people's safety. Their conversation was interrupted by the arrival of Brennan, his presence a stark reminder of the years lost and the pain endured. Sister, he began, his voice tinged with regret. I've returned not to reopen old wounds, but to stand with you against the Venon. His words carried the weight of their shared history, a bond forged in childhood when he had been her mentor and protector, the one who had wrapped her knees and taught her resilience. His disappearance, a ruse born of necessity, had left a void in Violet's life, filled only by the silent mentorship of a book he had left behind, a tome of strategies and wisdom that guided her in his absence. Violet's gaze softened, the barriers built over six years of grief beginning to crumble. Then let us begin anew, for the sake of Aretia. Her voice held a new timbre, strengthened by the trials she had faced alone, and now by the return of her brother. Together they turned their attention to the looming threat, the Venon's dark presence casting a shadow over their land. The rebellion's need for the alloy that powered the wards was dire and time was slipping through their fingers like grains of sand. We must delve into the secrets of Bashdiath, Violet declared. Her connection to Tern and the dragon lending her words an unspoken weight. Tern, a creature of legend whose bond with Violet was both a source of strength and a target for the Venon's malice, was key to their quest. The answers they sought lay in the dragon's ancient history intertwined with the very essence of the wards. Zayden nodded, his protective instincts flaring as he considered the dangers of such a quest. And I will ensure that no harm comes to you or our cause. His vow was not just to Violet, but to all of Aretia, a city that thrived on the harmony of its diverse districts, from the vibrant marketplaces to the tranquil gardens that offered respite from the turmoil. The trio stood united, the brink of war upon them, yet their spirits unbroken. They would face the Venan threat, armed with knowledge bonded by blood and purpose, and guided by the legacy of dragons. The rebellion's flame burned bright, a beacon of hope in the encroaching darkness. Their resolve was as steadfast as the ancient walls that protected them, and together they would forge a path to victory. The Bonds of Secrecy Violet paced the length of her room, the stone walls echoing her restlessness. The archives had been a treasure trove of forbidden knowledge, and with each secret she unearthed, the weight of her duty grew heavier. Violet! Zayden's voice cut through the silence as he entered. You've been in here for hours. What did you find? She hesitated, the parchment in her hand crinkling with tension. Histories, she began. Histories that rewrite our understanding. For instance, the city of Eldoria, which we believe to be in ruins, thrives in secrecy, its people alive and well. 
Dayton's jaw tightened, the lines of his uniform sharp against the uncertainty that now clouded their reality. We need to tell the others, he said, but Violet shook her head. We can't. Not yet. The walls have ears, and we don't know who else is woven into this web of deceit. A knock at the door interrupted them, and Jacinia slipped in, her eyes darting between the two. I heard voices. Is everything all right? Violet exchanged a look with Zayden before responding. All is well, just discussing some old records, she lied smoothly, tucking the parchment away. Yasinia nodded, though the flicker of doubt didn't escape Violet's notice. Later, as night fell over the war college, Violet and Zayden met in secret with their closest allies. A new face, Sir Calder, whose allegiance had been uncertain, now joined them, bringing with him a map marked with unknown territories. The candlelight flickered across Ernest's faces as they shared their findings, the gravity of their situation settling like a shroud. We must tread carefully, Zayden warned, his voice low. If we act rashly, we risk everything. But we cannot ignore this. We must seek the truth and protect it. Violet nodded, her resolve hardening. We'll start by verifying these accounts, quietly, carefully. We can't afford to trust blindly, not when the stakes are this high. As the meeting dispersed, Zayden's gaze met Violet's. A silent promise exchanged. We'll get through this, he assured her with a nod. And she believed him. Together they would unravel the bonds of secrecy, no matter the cost. The Quest for Knowledge Violet paced the dimly lit corridors of the archives, her mind racing with the urgency of her quest. The air was thick with the scent of ancient parchment and whispered secrets. She approached the forbidden section, where the most sacred texts of Basjayath's founding were kept. Are you sure about this, Violet? Yashinia's voice was a hushed tremor, barely audible over the rustling pages. Violet nodded, her determination unwavering. I need to know the truth about the prophecies. The rebellion. Our future depends on it. Yasinia gave a nod of understanding, and with a skilled twist, she unlocked the gate. Be quick, she urged. Violet entered the room beyond, a treasure trove of knowledge filled with scrolls and tomes that held the wisdom of ages. Her fingers traced the spines until she found a leather-bound volume, its cover embossed with a dragon's silhouette. She opened the book to a page marked by a folded corner, revealing a detailed account of a dagger, said to be the only weapon capable of slaying the Venon. The text spoke of a prophecy, one that foretold the rise of a leader who would wield the dagger and unite the disparate factions of Bazdiath, known as Drifts, against their common foe. As Violet absorbed the words, Zayden appeared in the doorway, his expression a mix of concern and reproach. You shouldn't be here, he said, his voice low. Violet closed the book with a snap. I had to find out for myself. Zayden stepped closer, his gaze intense. And what will you do with this knowledge, Violet? Violet met his stare, her resolve stealing. I'll use it to light our way. We can't fight in the dark, Zayden. Together they left the archives, the weight of their discovery heavy between them. But within Violet's heart, a spark of hope had ignited a flame that would soon grow into a blazing path for all who sought the truth. Symbols of Commitment A soft knock came at the door. Violet? Zayden's voice held an urgency. She opened the door to him, and his concerned gaze swept over her. I heard about the attack, he whispered. Are you all right? Her nod did little to slow her racing heart. Yes, but Jacinia, she's discovered something crucial about the dragons. Aiden's face set in determination. We'll confront this together, as we always do. Violet found strength in his touch. Together, she echoed. The sound of footsteps approached, but Violet reassured him with a glance. It's Brennan concerned about the Venin. His head in the stance softened, his worry clear. Violet's smile was resolute. Together, we're stronger than any fear. 
Their united front was a silent vow, a shared commitment to stand against the looming darkness. The Dragon's Legacy In the dimly lit room, Violet watched Zayden with a silent question lingering in her gaze. Are you sure about this? she asked. It's the only way, Zayden replied, his determination clear. We need to arm the drifts. And, Taren. Violet's voice was a whisper. The dragon is with us, Zayden assured her, meeting her eyes. Taren understands what we're fighting for. Their conversation was interrupted by Jacinia's entrance. There's been another attack, she announced, concern etched on her face. Zayden's expression hardened as he read the message she handed him. They're getting bolder, he said. We need to act now, Violet agreed, her resolve firm. They discussed their plan, speaking in low tones about the distribution of the Venan killers, daggers capable of piercing the scales of their enemies. As the day progressed, Zayden's search for answers led him through the underbelly of the city. He was close to uncovering truths that could shake the very foundations of their society. I knew Jacek, Zayden confided in Violet. He was on the brink of revealing their secrets. We'll continue his work, Violet promised, her hand on his shoulder. Together, Satan and Violet stood at the forefront of the rebellion, their bond unbreakable. Their cause was just, and with each day, their resolve grew stronger. They were the embodiment of hope and the spirit of the rebellion, fighting for a world where freedom was more than just a dream. The dragon's legacy was their story, a testament to their courage and the indomitable will of those who stand against tyranny. The Archives of Alliance Violet's heart raced as she and her companions, cloaked in the darkness of night, approached the grand doors of the archives. The air was thick with anticipation, and the faint glow of mage lights cast eerie shadows on their faces. Zayden turned to Violet with a whisper. Are you sure about this? Violet nodded, clutching the scarred leather journal to her chest. This is the only way to protect Aredia. We need the knowledge hidden in these tomes. Eric... Ever the brave soul stepped forward, his hand hovering over the intricate carvings on the door. Then let's not waste time. Remember, stick to the plan and watch each other's backs. The door creaked open, revealing rows upon rows of ancient books, their spines whispering secrets of the past. The group split up, each member searching for the answers they sought. As Violet searched, she couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. She whispered to Xaden, Do you feel that? As if the very walls have eyes. Xaden nodded, his hand reaching for the shadow at his side. We must be quick. Suddenly, a soft noise echoed through the hall. Violet froze, her eyes meeting Xaden's. Someone's here. It was Imogen, her face pale but her eyes fierce. They know we're here. We must hurry. The tension was palpable as they gathered what they came for, the weight of their mission pressing down on them. With a heavy heart, they made their way out of the archives. They had faced the dangers of the archives and emerged with hope, a hope that the knowledge they gained would be the key to saving their world. As they disappeared into the night, the archives stood silent, a testament to the power of alliances forged in the face of adversity. The Web of Alliances The chamber was tense, the air thick with anticipation. Violet stood rigid, her gaze locked with Rhiannon's, each aware of the gravity of their next moves. The silence was suddenly broken not by words, but by the shared understanding that they faced a common enemy. Violet's heart raced, but she held her composure. We are all loyal to the cause, she stated firmly. Thaden stepped forward, his stance protective. We stand united. The rebellion's cause is just, and we will not falter. The group exchanged wary glances, their resolve unspoken but understood. Violet approached Zayden. 
We need to be careful. Our alliances are fragile, and we can't let suspicion tear us apart. Zayden nodded. Together we are stronger than any web of deceit. We'll get through this for Aretia for the Rebellion. In the shadows, the stakes were high, but so was their resolve. The web of alliances would hold for now. The Unrest Within Violet stood firm, her resolve unwavering despite the day's calamities. The Academy's simulation had been less than stellar, but it was the least of her concerns now. Satan's entrance shifted the atmosphere, his presence commanding yet enigmatic. You've been probing into my past, Violet, Zayden began, his tone laced with a mix of curiosity and caution. I have, she admitted, but not for the reasons you think. We must ensure nothing's been altered or influenced. Satan's eyes softened, I understand. The Rebellion's success hinges on our integrity. Rhiannon burst in, her declaration cutting through the tension like a blade. The wards will be raised. Kat's voice trembled with fear. But our flyers, they'll be grounded. It's a necessary sacrifice, Rhiannon countered, though her conviction wavered. The debate that ensued was fervent, each member wrestling with the implications of their choices. It was amidst this chaos that Taren entered, his focus solely on Zayden. You remain untouched by the conflict, Taren observed, his voice tinged with respect. And you possess the intrinsic gift. Zayden held Taren's gaze, the gravity of his admission palpable. Yes, I can discern the true intentions behind actions. A skill that must remain concealed for our safety? The revelation hung in the air, a silent testament to the precarious balance they all navigated. Violet knew the stakes were high, and as the unrest stirred within, she braced for the inevitable upheaval. In the midst of their heated discussion, a new figure emerged from the shadows. Avalyn, her eyes betraying a hint of treachery. The enemy knows of our plans, she confessed, her voice barely above a whisper. The group reeled from the shock, the betrayal slicing deeper than any blade. With the flyers at risk and a traitor in their midst, they faced a dire crossroads. Yet, it was Violet who stepped forward, her decision clear. We shift our focus to Bazjayath, the Veil. Vale. It's there we'll make our stand, with or without the wards, she declared, her leadership unchallenged. As they rallied around Violet's call, the chapter closed, not with uncertainty, but with a united front poised to confront the challenges ahead. The solstice awaited, and with it, the breath of war. A term they now understood to mean more than they ever imagined. The battle for their world soul was just beginning.